Hey everyone, Ellie here from Zeke, and I'm sure most of you have received an email from eBay letting you know that you had to register for managed payments, and they put a link in the email for you to do that, and now you might have some questions or concerns. Or maybe you haven't received that email just yet and are getting informed about it ahead of time, like a lot of other people are doing at this time. So in this video, I'm going to just go over a few questions people have been asking just to clarify what eBay Managed Payments is and what to expect when you register. Don't forget to use the timestamps for easier navigation of the video content. Let's jump right in. All right guys, so what is managed payments on eBay and is it mandatory? eBay's managed payments program allows the platform to process the payments directly instead of relying on PayPal, enabling customers to enter payment information and process it without having to travel to a third party site and leave the eBay interface. And this is great because buyers don't need to leave the eBay site. They can complete the purchase with a few clicks and no interface changes. And this will potentially increase the conversion rate on eBay, which means it will also increase your sales. Most sellers will be enabled for managed payments in 2020 and all sellers will eventually be required to have eBay manage their payments in order to sell on the marketplace. So what does it mean when eBay manages payments? When eBay manages payments, sellers can sell and get paid in one place, which is on eBay, and buyers have more ways to pay. Buyers can use credit, debit, and gift cards, as well as Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and PayPal Credit. There is no separate PayPal account required for buyers or sellers. Seller payouts are consistently initiated to their bank account within two business days of an order confirmation, regardless of how a buyer paid. Sellers can schedule their payout at a frequency they choose, so daily as funds are available or weekly. I would like to just mention one thing that people are finding to be confusing is the section that tells you about your pending funds and your available funds. So the available funds is the money that's going to be paid out to you on the date of your next payouts. The pending funds are not yet available for payouts and there's a few reasons things would fall into pending as opposed to available. Such as if you are a new seller, all of your funds are going to go into pending until you actually show that the item has been delivered. Then eBay will put that money into your available for payout and then be paid out to you on your next pay date. Also, if you sell an item and then the customer opens up a return after you already shipped the item, and let's say that item was $50, then eBay will automatically take $50 from your available funds and put it into pending and it will stay there until the return or case is resolved. All right, so instead of managing relationships with both eBay and PayPal, sellers can access everything they need on eBay. So they can consolidate fees, customized reports, refunds and returns, labels, simplified protections, and tax documentation. All right, so the big question is, if I don't register now, what happens? So if you were notified but did not complete the managed payments registration, you may be blocked from creating new listings. eBay will manage payments for most sellers in 2020 and all sellers will eventually be required to have eBay manage their payments in order to keep selling on eBay. If you receive a notification, eBay does encourage you to register before the communicated deadline, and this is to avoid any business interruption after the deadline has passed. 
Registration includes verifying your business information and providing a bank account. You will be able to track your registration progress on the payments tab in the seller hub. So now we're going to go over some frequently asked questions. How do sellers enable their accounts for managed payments? There is a multiple step onboarding process for managed payments in which sellers submit ownership and bank account details. eBay will generally notify a seller when he or she is eligible to start the onboarding process. So what information has to match between my eBay registration and bank account registration? If you have a business account on eBay, you must ensure that you have a business checking account with your bank. Your eBay registration also must match what is on file with your bank. Additionally, the first and last name for your eBay registration must also match the account owner information at your bank. If your checking account is under another name, such as your spouse's, you will need to update your eBay profile. Once my selling account is enabled for managed payments, do I need to revise my existing listings? No. Once a seller's account is enabled for managed payments, existing listings are automatically merged into the new experience, including the available payment methods that are managed by eBay for each marketplace. Is the global shipping program available to sellers using managed payments? Yes, this feature just recently became available to sellers using managed payments. And here on eBay, you can get a lot more information on how the global shipping program works. So if you're an international seller, this is something that you should go through and read. Why did I not receive an email about managed payments? If you haven't received a notification yet, there is no other action required at this time. eBay is notifying sellers whose current use of features and tools is compatible with managed payments. Does managed payments support listings in all eBay categories? The managed payments program supports listings in most eBay categories. However, there are currently some categories that are excluded from the program. If you have listings in these categories when your account is boarded for managed payments, these listings will be ended and any listing fees will be refunded. Now here is a list of categories that are actually excluded from the program. So you have adult only items, including movies and video games, auction services, and so on. Here on eBay under Managed Payments Restricted Items Policy, you can go ahead and scroll through and check out what the new policy actually is. Okay, now into the fees. So how are my seller fees affected with managed payments? With eBay managing your payments, your fees are paid to eBay. Final value fees, they will charge one final value fee when your item sells and you don't have to worry about a third party payment processing fee. So this will actually save you a couple of bucks. This fee is calculated as a percentage of the total amount of the sale plus 30 cents per order. So here we have some standard fees for most categories. So I wanted to show you that on eBay, you have selling fees for managed payment sellers. The fees detailed on this page apply to sellers whose account is activated for managed payments. So these are the fees for managed payment sellers. You can tell by looking at this graph here and then looking at the regular selling fees graph that there is a little bit of a difference. So you can go ahead and really compare and contrast all the differences that are being made now with the managed payment fees and the regular selling fees for eBay. Once eBay starts managing your payments, you will pay only one final value fee. Your final value fee is automatically deducted from your sales proceeds and the rest paid out to your bank account. You can cover the costs of refunds from your bank account or a credit card when your pending payment is not sufficient to cover the refund amount. You will see fewer fees in your invoices and with all your fees in one place, your reconciliation will be easier. Will I still get a monthly invoice? The majority of fees will be automatically deducted from your sales proceeds. At this time, insertion fees, feature fees, subscription 
commission fees and other fees will continue to be invoiced monthly. For the fees that you are invoiced for, you can choose to pay in the same manner you do today, which includes paying by bank account, credit, debit cards, or PayPal. So when does change take place? Once you register, nothing will change until eBay activates your account. They will notify you of your activation date in advance and will be sharing more information about the change. This information will include how it will benefit your business and how to take full advantage of their new, simpler approach to payments. During the registration process, you can choose to add any checking account whether existing or new most sellers will be activated by the end of 2020. all right guys so for the end of this video we have included some benefits for sellers so you have a choice buyers have more payment options credit debit and gift cards apple pay google pay paypal and paypal credit no separate paypal account required for buyers or sellers convenience access everything you need all in one place consolidate fees customized reports refunds and returns labels simplified protections and tax documentation streamlined operations payouts directly into your bank account. You can choose to schedule these daily as funds are available or weekly. Regardless of how the buyer pays, payouts are consistently available within two business days of order confirmation. You can also get unique order numbers for ease of reconciliation and the option to pay for shipping labels for pending payouts. Or by still using a PayPal account. Expanded reach. Easily ship internationally with the global shipping program, which handles customs taxes and import-export fees for you. Reporting. Updated reports available for download and export from Seller Hub. Examples of reports include monthly statements, payouts, order, and post-transaction reports, performance insights, and applicable annual 1099k tax reports. API integration. Those who integrate using eBay APIs can update their integrations to view payout information. All right, guys, so that wraps up the video on eBay managed payments. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, if you like this video, Video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel that way you can get notified on every new video that we post have a good one guys stay safe and see you next time